is Le Pen going to be around for 30 more years, advancing to the second round and then losing? Le Pen, uh, you know, Le Pen, I think she doesn't like politics. Uh, uh, Le Pen, right? I, think, I, I, th I think she will be around next time again, um, which, you know, is to me is a real tragedy here. But um, she's going to be around. But, but my, my theory of Le Pen, which is based on talking to people who know people in our entourage, so this is not like, you know, this, this actually has some pretty solid ground. You know, it's not, I'm just not, I'm not just like doing wild conjectures here. Uh, Le Pen doesn't like politics like the way her father did. Her father was a political animal. He, f he loved this stuff. You know, he really lived for this. Uh, and she's not like this. She doesn't love this stuff. She'd be much happier if she could do, if she could be a lawyer again, probably. But she can't, you know, she's burnt. Uh, and even more importantly, even if it were just, if it were just her, I think she would quit. She would stop. She would quit politics. But what you have to understand is that a lot of people around her, some of her advisors, some people in her party, literally depend on her running to make a living. Because those are people who have absolutely no skills whatsoever. Like this party, you have to understand, it's a cult, basically. It's mm -hmm. run like a cult. You know? It's like this small yeah. like family company where the boss you know, make all the decisions. But around the boss, you have this whole ecosystem of people who have no skills whatsoever, they're pretty stupid people. Uh, they can't do anything else. At least they can't do anything else and maintain the kind of like standard of life that they have right now. So they're putting a lot of, she's under a lot of pressure from those guys not to quit. Because if she quits, it's not just her, you know, her, she'll be fine. You know, she's not stupid. I mean, she's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but she's not stupid. Uh, those guys really are. And, and they depend on her. So they put her under a lot of pressure not to quit. And so you have this situation where we are gonna, which is really bad for the country and for the right because you know we have this situation where the only um, contender, you know, I, one of the reasons I, I really liked uh, Zemo's candidacy. I mean, the main reason is that I wanted to break this curse. You know. We need to have find a way to get rid of Le Pen and the National Front because this is a guarantee as long as those guys are the opposition centuries like Macron will always win. And and so um but the problem is that it's not gonna happen, at least not this time, because uh because you know like I said Zemmour wasn't gonna win the second round. But he didn't need to win the second round to to destroy the National Front, the National the Rassemblement National now, the National Rally. It's a new name. Um the Party of Le Pen. He just needed to beat her in the first round and to be in the second round. This would have been the end of the national, of the, of her party. That would have been enough, you know, but it didn't happen. So she's going to be around and again, even though she doesn't really want to. That's, so that's the irony of this whole thing. She doesn't really want to and she's screwing the right, but she's going to do it anyway because there are too many people who depend on her to live. And so they're going to keep making sure that she stays in the game, you know, even though she doesn't really want to be in the game.